Today I'm rewiring my 5,700 watt solar array in my backyard and I realized if I put them in rows like this, it's easier to wire them up in the back and I can create more power with less space. Because previously we had seven rows of panels here. Now I can produce 2,200 watts with standard residential panels in a single row. And for the second row, I'm gonna use bifacial solar panels. So we're just gonna call this the ground mount version two. And again, I'm using the same bricks as before. I just lay the panels flat on them. Also a concern my viewers had is how well these solar panels would hold up in high winds. And I live in Las Vegas. The winds here are crazy. We get like 50 to 70 mile per hour winds here on my property. It literally wants to rip apart my house in the livestock shade. It is crazy wind speed here. And I haven't had a single panel get broken or damaged at all. I've had like three high wind days and I haven't had a single issue so far. Also, these panels are tilted just enough to produce a lot of power during summer. If I want to tilt this whole array during winter, I can easily do so by adding a few dollars worth of bricks. Personally, I do not like tilting my panels that much because most of the power that you can extract from the sun is when the sun is directly overhead. It does help to tilt during the winter, but for the other nine months out of the year, you're better off just leaving them like this. On all of my previous systems, I had them on RVs and they would be parallel to the ground. And I would still produce a lot of power because there is less atmosphere that the photons have to travel through when the sun is high above your head. So having them in this configuration, I can typically get about five hours of peak irradiance every day. And if I did spend the extra money for a sun tracker and I tilted them perfectly, the amount of power that I would get is like six, maybe seven sun hours a day versus five, which means I can easily offset that by adding more solar panels to my array. So yeah, let's finish up this project. I'm gonna add a second and maybe third row right now. I just realized I don't need two bricks for each intersection. I can use only one and it will be enough support. These things are so heavy, you guys, jeez. Remember, these are 60 pound panels, guys. Holy cow, man, these are so heavy. So I have to lower it, then connect it, then move it back over. I really wanted to use these bifacials on a mount that's lifted up, but I don't have anywhere to do it. And this produces a lot of power. So I think I'm just gonna stick with these ground mount arrays. It's so easy. My bifacials have been out of commission for like two or three weeks now. I just realized we can now compare bifacial output over the course of a day or a week versus a traditional monocrystalline panel. This is the perfect test setup for that. And both are brand new and yeah, same size, equally spaced, it should be nice. I'm a bit tired, but I think we can add a third row right here of like used solar panels. These used panels only produce half as much as the bifacials, especially over the course of a day. So I need like two rows of these used panels to produce the same as that single row of bifacials. All this sweet, sweet free electricity. It's not free, it requires carbon. Tell me something that doesn't require carbon, right? I'm so tired of the comments on my channel, man. Okay, I digress. That looks pretty good, you guys. So this is a 6,160 watt array. And in this position facing south at this tilt angle, we should get five sun hours. So 30 kilowatt hours a day from this array. This is enough to power my air conditioner for the shop or my Tesla. And I made it in less than, what, 40 minutes? I haven't been filming for that long. The amount of power that I can produce for the area and the cost is just amazing. No permit required. You just buy some panels and lay them on the ground. This might not work if you have a lot of dry grass or if there's some other type of hazard on the ground. But if you have concrete or dirt, like out here in Las Vegas, this is a great method. And so far I haven't had a single issue with any of these ground mount arrays. And what I plan to use this array for is a surprise. So look forward to a new video and it should be pretty awesome. Anyways, I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye.